Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. How long has it been since I played this game? I don't know. Probably been a few weeks or months or a couple months. But anyways, last episode, I didn't even know what we did. Let's check the journal real quick. <clears throat> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> All right, a better mousetrap. Uh, Zend Zedillion. I must activate the. Okay, so where is that exactly? Go to Bliss. So I need to go all the way over here. Essentially. Um, travel over here. Travel to wherever this is so I got rid of um, one particular um, um, because uh, the character overhaul that I had uh, wasn't working properly I don't know what I did in the modding so I just got rid of it I don't even know where I'm going where am I going I'm going the wrong way Jesus Christ. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust things as so hard to concentrate with all that noise. Bruh. Hello? You'll need to speak up. Huh. If you see a shambles dying, stand back. They'll take you with them. Goodbye. Shit. this way anyways I hope you all are doing well Need to go this way Explore the Shivering Isles more if I once I start live streaming it, and actually do a proper playthrough of it. Shit. Ah, oh, my base is itchy. That's just because probably my beard is growing in again. It's crazy because I just I literally just shaved it, shaved my beard or not, not um, I didn't shave it fully, but um, yes.
Oh, hello. That's right here. Hold on. I should locate begin locating the oh focus crystal. Okay. Man. This is it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, you I fucking hate these things. in terms of like um I could get madness or because I could get better armor than this uh, well I don't know I like my daedric armor you boy just die <laughs> jesus christ I'm falling for that. life.
Go for the knees! Go for the knees! Yeesh! Take a minute and heal ourselves and then repair our gear. My, my, my beard must be growing in because it's starting to itch my face. Alright, now take some prepare hammers. I have a lot of keys. <laughs> Apparently. Wait, did that just get rid of all my lockpicks? it did. Jesus Christ. Well, now I know not to do that again. Alright, make a save here. Oh shit. I was auto running. Go for the knees! Go for the knees! Go for the knees. It's our only weakness. You have anything? Ooh, gold. Oh, for fuck's sake, that scared the crap out of me. For these effects to wear off initially.
skill increased. That's nice. It fucked me. Stunned the crap out of me. Sorry, it was a spider. Lord Cheagorad has sent someone to assist me. But where are my manners? <clears throat> Must get into my professional tone. <clears throat> <laughs> Welcome to Zedillion. I'm the dungeon caretaker, Kiliban Nerendil. Tell me about this place. A wonder of engineering, is it not? Zedillion is the ultimate test of metal for the foolhardy adventurer that dares trespass into the Shivering Isles. What they don't know is that they're being drawn to their doom, courtesy of the Resonator of Judgment. Tell me more. Ever since that wretched gatekeeper was made, Zedillion became redundant. It fell into disrepair and was eventually all but forgotten. After only a few years passed, the Grumites began moving in. Ghastly things. They mistook the focus crystals for some sort of religious symbols and removed them from their rightful places. This rendered the Resonator inert and Zedillion completely useless. Luckily, you came along and placed Zedillion back into operation. How do I get out of here? Yes, yes, I, I tend to ramble. You'll have to forgive me. If you have the attenuator, then Shea Gorath must have sent you. Zedillion would normally have sent you back to the entrance when you stepped on the pad in the resonator chamber. Since you're up here, I can only surmise that adventurers are already entering the dungeon as we speak. The only thing we can do is let the adventurers complete a cycle through here. I'll be glad to help. I assume Shea Gorath gave you the Manual of Zedillion. You can consult it for more information, or I can provide instructions. As the adventurers make their way through Zedillion's chambers, they will encounter choices that you make in these control platforms. All you need to do is decide what becomes of the adventurers. Will you drive them insane, or will you pull the life from their bodies? Simple. Wait until the adventurers are in position, and then press a button. If they survived, 
they will proceed to the next chamber, and so on. It's really quite ingenious. You'll know you're done when they lie dead on the ground or they are out of their minds. Of course, any of their possessions you wish to keep are yours for the taking. I'll make sure you get them when you're done. Well, the dead will be disposed of, have no fear. That's my job. Those that are lucky enough to merely go insane will be granted a place in the Shivering Isles as a permanent resident. Each chamber presents two options. When you push the appropriate button, an event will unfold for the adventurers to experience. One is physically harmful, usually lethal traps or creatures, something relished by the residents of Dementia. The other choice is more mental. They are designed to make the adventurers lose their grip on reality, much like the residents of Mania. Of course, the introduction of spore gas with the Mania choices helps as well. As you wish. The resonator works by drawing adventurers to itself with a sort of magical siren's call. Sheagorath uses the resonator to find the cream of the crop, as he calls them, the best of the worst to populate the isles. Quite clever, eh? So good to be back in business. This has to be a... What in oblivion is that thing? <laughs> this is one of the horrid guardians of which the stories spoke? Be careful. There may be more to this creature than meets the eye. What a joke. Let's be rid of this thing and continue on our way. Are my eyes playing tricks? Or is the creature By the gods, growing? when will it stop? It could devour us Run all. for your lives! Get back here, you cards! Something's not right. All this time it was merely an illusion. How clever. Wait, what's wrong with Lewin? It makes no sense. Should be d dead. But what the no. I think this place got to him. Perhaps we should leave. No, we'll pick him up on the way out. He must fend for himself. What can I assist you with? You're doing quite well so far. Keep it up. What can I assist you with? What else can... As you wish. You're doing quite well so far. Keep it up. Told you, treasure. Let's have at it, Sindelius. Blast! The cage is locked. Grumok, be careful. This looks too good to be true. If only Lewin were here, he could get us through this in no time. We'll have to fend for ourselves. Do you think you can pry the door open? Forget it. This is obviously a trick. Let's get out of here. To be so close, and yet so far. If only we had the key. Wait. Do you hear something? Look. Keys. One of them must open the gate. We're rich. Let's get out of here, Sindelius. This is obviously a trick to waste our time. I'll know it when I see it. Yes, it must be here. 
They're all fake. Just come with me now. Find it, yes. I must find the key. Rich beyond all my dreams. <laughs> ah, suit yourself. You know, I've caused Sindelius, the ma mage, to go insane by pouring hundreds of keys on the ground, which convinced him that one of them, them opened the gate to the huge treasure pile. All that remains now is the leader, Gr Grumok. I should make my way to the last observation room and choose how the stubborn orc will encounter this vital obstacle. And I think this is how you get Don Fang. None of those keys fit the lock. <laughs> Right? That's what I thought. Steady, Grumok, steady. You've been through worse before. Yeah, he has Dawn Fang. Possibly throw at you. What? How in oblivion can I be dead? This, this is impossible. Nothing killed me. I didn't even get a chance to fight. No chance to defend myself? No chance for battle? Why? Who? Impossible. This is impossible. Grimok has never lost a fight. Never. You've made short work of the intruders. Shea Gorath should be proud to have such an efficient apprentice. Now, if you'll step on the last teleporter pad, I will meet you in the reception chamber so we can recover your earnings. I'm afraid you've exhausted Zedil. Not to worry. We'll have your spoils to you in no time at all. As is the tradition, you are to be awarded a focus crystal as a token of your fine work. I'll have it sent to the palace and placed in the main hall if you wish to take a look at it. Oh yes, of course. It seems a most unusual weapon was recovered from the orc warrior, Gromok. Never seen anything like it, but perhaps his journal can give you some useful information. Beyond that, take whatever else you need from the recovery chest. You've earned it. You're free to go at any time, of course. Just up that hallway. Good luck to you. And Duskfane is added. Which is, honestly, since it's nighttime, it's, it's glowing blue. And then there's also another one. I can't remember which one it was, though. Grumok's journal. We f we were finally able to convince the idiot rogue Lewin that that it was time to give up the strong that strong box of money he stole from Le Lelis qual quality mer merchandise in Anvil and ditch it outside the castle. All the heat he brought on the group was starting to to chafe. Lindelius pretty much shut him down and made him do, do it because because I was ready to put my foot in his face. I know he's a rogue, but we're adventurers. We get get our loot from raiding old crypts and ruins and places that ain't that ain't got guards. He can be a real horse's ass sometimes. I'll tell you. No, no, I wanted to read more. What a bad fre Freitas we've had. We hit what was left of the old Fort Warriel. I can't really read this, whatever. And after slaughtering a bunch of no, no good marauders and grabbing their loot, made our way north. We came to the ruins of Trum Trumbe. Lindelius said, said there they, they were Aelid or 
<laughs> yeah, he's mispronouncing the word. Um, or some ca- kind of old c- civilization. But all I cared about was was how loaded with gold we were. He said, usually that he said usually they were. So in we went. What a mistake! This place was crawling with skeletons and ghosts. Those things give me the creeps. How can I fight something that ain't even alive? Lewin took a few good good hits and ha- had to pop all his potions. Lindelius broke his arm when a trap almost crushed him to death, and I got a nice nasty scar across my forehead. Close, close call. Best of all, we got, got to the treasure hoard. Le- Lewin was out of lockpicks. Why do we even keep them with us? We had to dra- drag the damn c- container out of out of from bay from bay i think that's from bay I, I could be wrong though um and all the way back back to camp atrin atrin now i'm sit, sitting here staring at a stupid metal box wishing i could use lewin's head to bash it open what adult after a night of deciding whether or not, not to snap off Lewin's legs I, and use him as firewood, I sent Lindelius and Lewin to Anvil to buy more lockpicks while I guarded the box. They came back in a few hours and Lewin picked the lock in the first try. Good thing, too. I was still pretty pretty mad at the guy. I don't like sitting around all day. Anyways, Lindelius got all excited when I saw something wrapped up in in some sort of fancy cloth. Inside the clock was a bunch of stuff, but the best but, but the best was the sword. What a beauty. Blade looked like a, mu- a mouth with with teeth. Handle like gold, snake skin and the gem in the middle of it. A perfect fury orange and red like the sky at dawn lindelius was going crazy and i asked him what was all the noise for he told me it was akaviri or something like that and made and made by the snake pee people or siesi or whatever lindelius says siesi starts starts with 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 a I just know with a I just now now what when when he saw me writing this with okay I don't know what this uh, whatever I could read guys apparently like whoever wrote this journal man or this is why orcs are not very good writers but that doesn't make any sense Psy S-C <laughs> Fine. There, I wrote it. By the nine. Lindelius is noisy sometimes. Well, anyways, the best way what what was yet to come. Right as the sun was setting, the sword vanished for a moment, and it was suddenly replaced by another weapon that looked almost the same. But the gem on it was deep blue and purple. Lindelius said, said he was certain that at dawn it would change back to orange and red. And, and orange and red gym. Well, this was good enough for me. That that alone made the sword sword the best best thing I ever seen. Lewin muttered something about Akaviri magic, but I told him to shut up. I decided to call the sword Dawn Fang when it was orange and red, and Dusk Fang when it was blue and purple. Things are getting better and better with my new sword in in these last few days i found out dawn fang is a fire blade blade and dusk fang is a frost blade handy for kill for extra killing power but the best what was what i found out when a minotaur decided to jump us and i landed the killing blow i heard a vo- voice in my head or maybe a thought i don't know it was weird but it felt like the sword knew it had just killed the Minotaur, like it was counting counting or something. At first I thought maybe I was just tired, but after tearing through a camp of bandits, it kept counting. After the 12th kill, it told me f- it, it thirst, 
was satisfied. At least, I think it told me. Then it stopped. Lindelius sa said it's possible the sword was a blood drinker. My kind of sword? My kind of sword. But he didn't know what would happen. It didn't take that long to find out when Dusk Fang came around, and the blade changed. I almost fell off the campfire log. The, the new blade was still Dusk Fang, but it somehow seemed stronger. I could just tell. I couldn't wait, wait to try it out. I ran right out, out and looked for something to kill. Didn't take long, long to come across a few, a few of those stupid imps. Sure enough, not only did it do more frost damage than normal, but I also could feel the energy from the creature transfer to me every time I hit it. What a weapon this was. Yeah, D Dusk Fang Superior. That's what I'll call it. Call it. Sometimes I, I, I uh, imagine. I think that's imagine. Image, image, homage. Oh, amaze even myself. Okay, I I can't read cursive. That's 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 my problem. I've never. I to be fair, I never learned cursive in school, so this is like a struggle for me. Lindelius. Sindelius, or is it is it Sindelius? I think it's Sindelius. I'm probably just whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it. Said he was sure Duskfane would blood would blood drink too, and I could power up Dawn Fang with it. I I spent all night looking for twelve things to kill, and when the sun came up, he was right. Dawn Fang Superior is to be this one's name. It's like having four blades in one. It's been all it's been the most fun I've had I have ever had in my life, cutting a bloody swath across the ruins of Cyrodiil. With my new double sword, Sindelius and Lewin are even more confident now that I have such a powerful weapon among us. We gathered tons of loot in the last three days. But nothing compares to this. We're going to head north and explore the area around Nibbin Bay. I hope so something something else like this turns up on our adventures. Then I'm going to retire. <laughs> Bruh. No, that's not it. Yeah. I'm over encumbered. That's great. What can I drop? What can I drop? Hmm. I don't need this. Um, don't need this. That's not good. Hurt the guy. I hope you are uninjured. Nope. What were those beings? You've not heard the legends? How could that be? Those beings, as you call them, aren't beings at all. They are the soulless abominations known 
as the Knights of Order. Their attraction to the Resonator isn't surprising. It was built from one of the obelisks that dot the Isles they seem to have an affinity for. Hmm. You must proceed to Sher Gorath at once and tell him the Knights have returned. Quickly now, go! Hold on, what's my difficulty? I'm curious. Okay. I'm turning this down so I could actually enjoy myself. Speak quickly. Go. I see you've returned. How exciting for you. I believe you have some news for Lord Sheogorath. Perhaps you should be speaking with him instead of illuminating me with your presence. What? Well now. What news do you have to report? So soon? Not a surprise, I suppose. We'll get to that later. No need to burden your little brain with it now. And Zedillion, since you're standing here, I assume you've succeeded. Or you're terribly confused. Or really lacking in good judgment! Zendelian functions once more. Wonderful! Time for a celebration! Cheese for everyone! Wait! Scratch that! Cheese for no one! That can be just as much of a celebration if you don't like cheese, true? You've run a maze like a good little rat. But no cheese for you yet. Oh, well, maybe a little. I've granted you a new spell. The ability to summon Haskell. My Chamberlain to aid you in your travels. He knows a lot. More than he knows. In fact, give it a try. Summon our friend to you now. I'll wait. Ah. Our Lord has granted you the power to summon me. How wonderful for me. When summoned, I can offer advice on your current endeavor. I imagine it's up to you what to do with my wisdom. Do try to use your power sparingly. I have duties to which I must attend. Rather more important than shepherding you around, I'm sure. Oh. All right. Isn't that a hoot? I love it myself. Best part of being a Daedric prince, really. Go ahead. Try it again. He loves it! Just one more time. At least... <laughs> He's a sport. Ah, summoned again. 
My lord does so enjoy that, as is his prerogative. I'll assume you're done for now. Yes, I am. Good, good. You'll need all the help you can get if you're going to defeat Jigalag and stop the Grey March. Who says I'm oh, Nathan? Don't expect to summon dear Haskell anywhere but in the realm. He dislikes leaving my presence. I get that sometimes. So what is the Grey March? An event. A movement. An apocalypse of sorts. Happens every era at the end of every era, which is to say, now. Mm. The Grey March comes and Jigalag walks. Or runs. I never skip sidles or struts. And mostly he just destroys everything around him. And who is Jigalag? The Daedric Prince of Order. Or biscuits. No, no, order. Yeah. And not in a good way. Bleak. Colorless. Dead. Boring, boring, boring! And not a fan of my work, I can tell you. Hates it, hates me. A bit single-minded, if you take my meaning. You've seen his knights? Not the warm and cuddly sort. <laughs> not a bit of original thought in their lifeless husks. So, you're going to help me stop him. Ow. Again with the niggling little details. Hold your tongue, or I will. <laughs> we'll get to that all in due time. For now, you've got other work to do. Good, what would you ask of me now? Ask? Ask? I don't ask! I tell! This is my realm, remember? My creation, my place, my rules! Look at you! No concept of what you've stumbled into. No sense of place. You don't even really know where you are, do you? I suppose few really do, but that's beside the point. We're going to give you a taste of where you found yourself. You're going to learn! Learn what? Two halves, two rulers, two places. Meet and greet. Do what they will, so you know what they're about. The Duke of Mania and the Duchess of Dementia. Seek them out and let them show you what new Sheath is. You might be surprised. Once you understand what my realm is, you might understand why it's important to keep it intact. And maybe you'll make some friends along the way. That's always nice. The Duchess of Dementia. Ever wary, ever worried. A prisoner in her own house, in a way. And a delightful conversationist, really. A bit harder to meet than Thaden. Consider making an appointment. The long-reigning Duke of Mania. A master of merriment, if you will. Or if you won't. I suspect it wouldn't matter to him. Seen them about, have you? Odd things. They've always been here, but they're not of here, if you take my meaning. You'll see those Knights of Order around them during the Grey March. Drawn to them like flies to honey or rotting flesh. Ever wonder why flies like both? <laughs> Best not to ask. Mm. Ah, New Sheath. My home away from places that aren't my home. The current location is much better than some of the prior ones, don't you think? Ta, come visit again, or I'll pluck out your eyes! <laughs> yes, do you require assistance? Her ladyship is rather suspicious of all around her. Best for you to not question it and merely do what she requires of you. 
He is aware you are here and should be waiting for you. See him at once. Eh? Yes, you'll find them throughout the Isles. Jigalag's forces use them as conduits into the Isles. Sheyagorath has tried to remove them, but they always return. While they cannot be destroyed, they can be rendered inert. The hearts of order found on Jigalag's knights can be placed in the obelisks. Adding enough can cause the obelisk to become overloaded with power. It is, of course, the capital of the Shivering Isles. It is divided into Bliss, Crucible, and the Palace Districts. I shall await further summons. All right. Without, you will have need of me. Alrighty. Um. Well, look who's here. You. How about that? <laughs> nice. All right. Let's get out of here. It's still nighttime. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, I already recorded a bunch of episodes. I'll, you know, upload them sparingly over time. So um, this will probably be the last or the not not the last episode. That's, you know, very general. Um, but uh, overall, just uh, yeah, just expect a lot of uh, um, uploads over the next few days and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, and also look out for um, a house showcase as well. So, um, yeah. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. And um, make sure to like, share the like, like the like button, share the video, and sub like like the subscribe button. Yeah. And uh, also join the Discord uh, for you know keeping updated and and everything i'll leave links to everything down below um including my twitch channel if you wanted to go check me out there um i'm in the process of doing eso although i did kind of mess up my uh my uh current eso plays through um uh, current eso playthrough of my templar so i might actually go to my dragon knight if i if i decided to do it or whatever i just need to catch up to the templar portion of it anyways um but also i might actually go just stream sh straight on youtube um but uh let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below do you want me to do you prefer me to stream on twitch do you prefer me to stream on youtube um let me know and uh or i'll probably just make a poll about it and everything like that so um i'll catch you on the next one Hi guys